What's up my friends, it's Mike again, glad to have you guys back. Today we're going to talk about desk accessories, specifically the Logitech MX Keys Mini Keyboard and the MX Master 3 Mouse. I've been using them on a daily basis for a few months now to work, game, edit videos and photos, and I'm very excited to tell you guys that I've partnered up with Logitech to show you how I use them in my workflow. One of the coolest features is that the mouse and keyboard is designed to work for both Mac and Windows, so with just one keyboard and mouse, I can seamlessly switch between different devices like my Mac Pro and Windows gaming laptop with just a press of a button. I'll show you how easy it is to do this as well as all the useful time-saving features that has drastically improved my productivity as a content creator on YouTube and Instagram. And by the way, if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing that really caught my attention was the design and aesthetics. The mouse and keyboard both comes in various colors, and I chose to get the graphite versions because I really like the look of the space gray of the frame of the keyboard combined with the dark gray keys, which really matches my MacBook Pro. And then it also matches with the mouse. There's space gray on the trim, and the body of the mouse is dark gray with a grippy texture to it. There are also silver accents on the metal horizontal scroll and scroll wheel for a more premium look and feel. I would say that the design is very modern, clean, and minimal all at the same time. With the MX Keys Mini, I really like the smaller form factor because I can place my mouse closer to my keyboard, and it just feels more natural and comfortable for me. I think it really makes a big difference for longer periods of use. The keyboard is super thin, and it has a low profile design. However, it actually feels super solid, it doesn't flex when I'm typing on it. Underneath the keyboard, you'll find that there's a bar which raises the keyboard, giving it a bit of an angle, and then there are rubber feet to prevent it from sliding around when I'm typing on it. On the keys, there are these small indented circles and it's designed to match your fingertips. This kind of makes it easier for my fingers to find the keys so that I can type just a bit faster. So typing on this keyboard feels great, the keys are very sturdy and there's very little travel so it gives a very satisfying and consistent sound when I'm typing away. And I also like how it's quiet enough so it won't disturb the people around me and this is what it sounds like. Moving along, the awesome thing about this keyboard is that it's designed to work on different operating systems like Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android, and I can quickly switch between three devices using the shortcuts on the top. For my setup, I have the keyboard paired to my MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, and Windows gaming laptop. This is super useful because I usually upload my Instagram posts from my iPad, and when I need to write the captions, I can just quickly switch over to the iPad and start typing from there. And next, if you're working in a dark environment, the keyboard will automatically light up when it senses your hands are Approaching it. Like you don't even need to touch or press the keys for the backlights to turn on. You can adjust the brightness using the function keys on the top. And the nice thing is that you can have it always lit up when you're typing and to save battery, it's smart enough to turn itself off when it senses that the keyboard is not in use. And next, the MX Keys Mini features new shortcuts. I really like using the dictation button. I use it sometimes to script and speak my mind when I'm lazy just like this. What's up guys, it's Mike again. Glad to have you guys back. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm talking about you. There's also shortcuts to quickly pull up emojis, another one for screenshots, and even a dedicated mute and a mute button which is super useful nowadays for meetings online. As for the mouse, it's got a very futuristic look to it and it's actually very comfortable. The body of the mouse is designed to fit the palm of your hand. There's even dedicated support for my thumb so that I can totally relax my hand while I'm using the mouse. And on the body, it's also got this very rubbery and soft texture to it so it kind of feels like my hand is automatically sticking to the mouse, making it almost effortless to move the mouse around. With that being said, I really liked editing photos with this mouse. The Bluetooth connection quality was super reliable and I can get around really quickly and precisely, making it super easy easy when I wanted to get rid of the little dust particles in my photos or use the brush to select things. And if you know me, I love my shortcut buttons and I appreciate how they're all placed around the thumb area for easy access. So you got the standard forward and back buttons here and then there's a button right under the thumb. This is the default shortcut for gesture controls. There's a bunch of different settings that you can customize with this feature. And I really like how I can just switch desktop screens just by holding it and moving the mouse side to side. And I can easily drag a window to the other desktop. And if I wanna see all windows, I can just swipe up. So it's really useful to navigate and organize my windows. And next, there is an all metal thumb wheel. This is something that's not on every mouse. This by default allows you to scroll horizontally, but on Chrome, you can actually use it to switch tabs. So you can actually customize all the buttons and scroll wheels to do a lot of different things. I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. The thumb wheel is really easy to control with the thumb, so it's useful for a lot of things like moving around the timeline in Final Cut Pro when I'm editing my videos. As for the metal scroll wheel, this is where it gets even better. 
So there are two modes to this, which is ratchet mode and free spin mode. In ratchet mode, there's tactile feedback, so you can actually feel how much you're scrolling. And if you spin it a bit faster, it automatically goes into free spin mode. You can also toggle between the two modes using the mode shift button. And in free spin mode, the wheel uses electromagnets to provide a super smooth and silent glide. So it can scroll through a lot very quickly. It's also very responsive, so it will stop scrolling as soon as you stop it. I like using this feature to flick to the top and bottom of web pages and quickly navigate through my script instead of using the home or the page up and down buttons. And just like the keyboard, the mouse allows for three connections to different devices. You can swap between them by pressing the button. And the thing that makes this keyboard and mouse combo really powerful is how you can seamlessly switch between two computers side by side using the software. For example, on my ultra wide screen, I got Windows running on the right and my MacBook Pro running on the left. Right now, I'm in Final Cut Pro, but the cool thing is that I can move my mouse over to Windows just like that. You can set this up in Logi Options in the mouse settings, and I have it set to switch automatically when I hold the control button down and go to the edge of the screen. The keyboard automatically switches over with the mouse. I can be type in hello over here, come over here on this side and type hello here as well. And this is all in real time. I'm not editing any of this. Isn't it super cool? Remember to like and subscribe, guys. Moving along, the reason why I've been using Logitech products for years now is because I can fully customize the buttons on both the keyboard and the mouse. You can do this in Logitech software on both Mac and Windows. On the keyboard, you can customize these buttons on the top row. And for example, I can remap the brightness down button to open an application like Final Cut Pro. And for brightness up, there's just a lot of other options to choose from. You can really choose what works best for you. And to get more advanced, you can set app specific customizations. I love using this for Final Cut Pro because I've customized almost every single button as a shortcut to help me edit videos. The custom profile will automatically switch when I'm in the application. And then when I'm doing normal things, it will automatically switch back as well so I don't have to do anything. And just to show you how powerful this is, I set my scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the timeline. And then I got the gesture to pan so that I can move left and right. And it just feels very natural doing it this way for me, making it very easy to navigate around without touching my keyboard. I also got the forward and back button as blade and trim end. So having all of these features at the tip of my fingers make it so much faster to edit videos like a ninja. As for charging, both devices use USB-C ports to charge, and on a full charge, the keyboard can last up to 5 months with the backlight turned off, and the mouse can last up to 70 days. I gotta say, the battery life was quite good, I rarely had to charge them. I think I've only had to plug them in one or two times over the few months that I've been using them. And if they're low on battery and you want to use them, the good news is that you can have them plugged in and charging while using them at the same time. So guys, here's a little magic trick for you. Boom. It's smaller now. Just kidding, this is a completely different mouse, it's the MX Anywhere 3. Isn't it cute? This is Logitech's compact mouse that I like to bring with me on the go. It's actually quite a bit smaller if you compare it with the MX Master 3, and it still features the all-metal scroll wheel, along with its essential shortcut buttons and software features. Because of the size, this mouse is perfect for people with smaller hands, my wife uses it as her main mouse in her desk setup and she absolutely loves it. I actually always keep mine in my backpack. For me, it's great for light editing and work on my laptop. So guys, I hope you enjoyed checking out my setup and seeing what I use to do what I do here on YouTube and Instagram. Hopefully this video gave you some idea of how everything works and helped you figure out which product is gonna work the best for what you do. So if you're interested in Logitech's keyboard and mice, there's a link in the description for you to check them out. If you have any questions at all, make sure to comment below. Also, if you're still watching, thank you so much for supporting my videos and watching till the end. Make sure you drop a fire emoji to let me know that you watch up to this point. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye.